Hello YouTubers, I thought today I would make a video on likes, dislikes, and I don't cares type things, and you'll figure out what those are as we go along. So, start with dislikes. What's there not to like? People that buy these cars and go right into likes and dislikes and then they complain about the car. I don't get it. You spent, I think, a lot of money. I know I spent a lot of money on this car and I wouldn't have bought it if I didn't like it. So there's nothing to really dislike. If you can afford a car like this, you are a lucky person in my mind. Um, so let's go into gripes then. So things you, if you want to gripe about something. I would not complain about visibility. Some people gripe about that. Some people even dislike the car because of it, but you made a purchase and it's a gripe if anything. But with the convertible, I don't have the normal issues, I don't think. I don't feel claustrophobic in the car because there's nothing, no big pillar in between the door and the back quarter panel. And as far as the height of the window, I mean, it's a gripe in my mind as well because nobody complains about a Ferrari's visibility out the side or a Lamborghini. They live with it. While this isn't the same type of car, I get it. It's still a sports car. It's still a four second car. Really. So, and obviously I don't have the visibility problems with the top is down. It's, to me, visibility is a non-issue. But the gripe I would have about the car, my personal opinion is the lack of front sensors on the front of the car. For those of you who have one, you know looking out the front of the car, out the, out the glass, it's hard to judge what's in front of the car because of how long the nose is. But they took time to put the sensors on the back of the car, but not the front. I don't, that's a gripe. Why would you not go ahead and put four sensors on the front? It's not that hard. Um, would help everybody park these things. Um, let's see, what else is a gripe? Hmm. gripe about on the inside from that seat over there I feel like I'm in a cockpit I don't really have any gripes I guess maybe I'll think of something but for me the only thing I wish was on the car was front sensors what do I like about the car it's a damn good looking car I love the looks I love the color scheme. I was heard when they were making the 50th anniversary, I was like, God, don't make another white and orange car. Cause everybody's converting old Camaros into that. And it just felt like they were on every Barrett Jackson, there was 10 of them. I am thankful they did this car in night ball gray metallic with the orange accents. That's classic, classy. To me, this, this will stand the test of time, this design, or this color palette. So I like the color. I like the car. I love the wheels. And I love the orange Brembo brakes. That just is a... When it's riding down the road, that's just something that sets it apart, those orange brakes. Very good looking. I like the convertible top. I think the top up looks 
menacing uh, or not bad maybe not menacing is not the right word but it looks good to be a convertible this looks like they took time to make a thoughtful design and just didn't slap some down crappy top on the top of the car. It looks sleek, makes the car look sleek. So I like that about the car. I like the gloss black trim down at the bottom and on the front grill. To me, that looks pretty good. I'm glad it's not matte black. Um, I think the gloss gives it that little something else. Speaking of the front, I do like the black in here and I like that design. I know the newer ones have them in the middle. Mm, I know people that have bought those new cars. I'm sure they love them. But to me, that's a better design. That just looks better. Uh, just my, my 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 humble opinion. But I like the grill. That grill with the chrome-ish accents. I don't know what it is. Love it. Just looks fantastic. It's got the, also a little chrome strip right here. Chrome-ish accent strip right there. And that's gloss black as well. Love it. Just just enough black in the right spots to give it the right look. Obviously, when you buy a car like this, um, for me, I bought the SS. Uh, so power. I love the power. The power is straight through the RPM range. Keeps on going. Just to me, it won't let up. Not that I get into it a whole lot, but when I do, for those that know me, I mosey most places, but when I have gotten into it, it'll go. So I love the power. I love the response and the handling. So when I think of handling, I love the handling. It's not just the contact patch on the tires on the ground. Um, it's also how it feels in the steering wheel, the feedback it gives you. So for me, handling is both places. And the handling on this car is fantastic. The car feels like it's got endless grip in corners. Not that I go too awful fast, but when I have, the car's got the grip. And the feedback in the steering wheel is fantastic. I, I can see why this car won Motor Trends Car of the Year. It's to me, it's a world-class sports car that beat world-class competitors at their own game for nominal money, considering what it is. Um, I love the interior. I do have the 50th anniversary mats, but to protect them, I don't use them. They're in the, in the box. But I, I love the interior, um, just goes well, looks good all the way across. Oh, I do have a gripe. So a gripe would be the speakers behind this door panel. For those that know, there's a six by nine speaker in here. This is the Bose, but there's a six by nine subwoofer basically behind here. Why? Would you put a subwoofer in the door of a car with all the moving parts and things that could possibly rattle you put the subwoofer here i don't get it but it's there um so that's gonna have to be dynamited behind that panel to stop the rattle because i like fidelity i don't like it too loud but i like fidelity and fidelity is the whole thing so I like bass, mid-range, and treble. And you can't have a lot of bass in this car without it rattling. So that's, that's a gripe, but I love the design of the door. I like the chrome and the lights that light up in there. To me, that looks good riding around at night, just 
little bit of something extra. Oh, I do have another gripe. See, look, this list of gripes is adding up. Get the cooling seats. Um, you know, I guess those that know or have one or ridden in one, you don't feel the wind coming right out of this thing. It's it's probably like me. That wind just fine moses its way through the process, through the vents. At some point and some time, it'll eventually come through here. But it's not like you get into a Mercedes and you turn on the cooling seats and you immediately feel cooling. That's not how this works. It will eventually cool it off, but it ain't in no rush to cool the seats off. Um, gripes. You know, I see people gripe about the back seat, but why would you have bought the car? in the first place if you wanted a back seat or that. But people can get back there. I have gotten people back there. It's it's workable, but I didn't buy it for visitors. I bought it for me. Um, I was going to pop the hood, but no reason to. I wish the car here's another gripe i guess um you just walk up and and pull a proximity and it just unlocks and locks that would be a lock this would be an unlock oh sorry so i wish the car came with some of my other cars pull the handle and it unlocks if the key's in your pocket and maybe that could be the lock but you have to push this to unlock and you have to push it to lock not a big deal it's a gripe but just i don't not like the car because of it it's it's not a thing to hate about the car it's just an opportunity that could have made the car better that was missed um for me um with the top down that's plenty of cargo room for this car and for no more passengers, I got no problems with the cargo space. None whatsoever. I hear people complain about it, but, or the entry into it, but it's a Camaro. It's a sports car, four second car. Entry into the trunk, not my priority. Um, so I think that's the things I like. Like I said, I don't have a dislike. If you can, if you can ride in something like that or have something like that, the world is treating you kind. You are doing good for yourself. That's a great car. That's my list. It's not your list my list. Hopefully you like my list. If you like my list, like my video. Thanks, YouTubers.